Conversation 12 on Hieroglyphs by Rosemary Waldrop. Champollion fainted, she says. Once he had wrested their secrets from the hieroglyphs and saw them turn transparent. The serpent no longer with power to strike but biting its nail. I smell my salts, my packets of words. Panicked. I'm no longer sure whether they shape my reality or have too little mass to interact with naked matter. Then they would pass right through the earth, as I will in death. The lightest particles gather the energy, he says, and given their density, outweigh stars. Thought follows thought. The interval calibrated on the space between your legs, your yes fire, your no the crack of a whip, well, more a filament breaking in a light bulb, eating from the tree of knowledge, can't be undone, only mudded as by motivation. And the way you thrust out your belly as you walk with almost shameless indifference makes a void in the air. But no case for cosmic deceleration. So even if I despair of plain surfaces, she says, writing, even talking becomes an act of faith, that my bondage to grammar and lexicon is not in vain, that these symbols in their beautiful and hallucinatory nudity blind me only to make me see. There is fire under the smoke, the sun also rises and falls. We still read at risk, he says, but we don't need to lard the crocodile with arrows. The picture won't devour us. It's swallowed in the fluid agreements between gonads and frontal lobe at a rate relative to the dark closing in. Yet two speeds in paroxysm need not mesh. A burning heart, failing to strike while hot, may not save the burning feet.